Yeah, I'm the bartender. What of it? You want rum? Fuck it. Here. Okay, I'm not sure what triggered him actually wanting to do his job. Because I just went up here and it said the bartender's gone. So I guess that was what we needed? I don't know where... Rum. This looks cheap. Okay. Remember that guy from the cement house? I'm pretty sure he wanted rum. So let's go try it. He gives you a red key. Oh! There was that locked gate area over here. That was red, right? Yeah, right here, right here. Whoa! The red key breaks. Another puzzle? Good thing I played a lot of Pokemon. Let's see... Okay... Do we push the rock into becoming the path? What? Oh... Hey! Can I have your banana? I'll give you something really good in return! Sure. Ah, thanks. Here. You got a banana peel. Banana peel! That guy in the water? In one of the other levels, he wanted a banana peel. Ooh. Is this gonna be another middle finger? God. You'll never forget, you slut, bad little bitch. I'll always cut through your mind. Yeah, whenever we have these pink lands with the yellow pavement, you can kind of see what that is supposed to be now, right? Pretty disgusting. Okay. I feel like this might be even darker than the main game. It's, uh... They don't ever outright say it, but... You can get pretty close to... Guessing... What it's trying to say. And we never even got anything close to something like this in the... In Lisa the Painful. You got a razor. Ooh. Red key broken. A dull blade. It's not good. Hmm, that might be it. Yeah, it seems like that's it. Okay, well, let's get out of here then. Let's give that guy the banana peel. I believe it was the floating guy over here. This guy. I need that banana peel, please. Thank you. There's a napkin here. Napkin. It's rather clean. I suppose now we have to figure out what to do with the napkin. Oh, I wonder if we can cut these with the... You hack away with your razor! Okay... That's a new place. Don't tell me, it's another- God damn it! What the hell? Wait, what? I think I got hit by the spider just now. Hey, what's this side? Let's go this side first. What were those pixely things? Oh, nothing, okay. What the fuck?! Yeah, it would have been easier to just die in that case. Yeah, we're not going that way again. Hmm. 
They don't seem to do anything. So I guess we'll just avoid the spider and try to move on. It's almost kind of following us. Okay. Oops. Well, there's a super sp What the heck is that thing? Ah! Maybe it'll be easier if we go this way. Mm, can't really make it in time. Oh, wait. Yeah. I think the spots with the pixels, or at least the one I'm standing on, is a safe spot. Yeah, I think so. I think so. There's supposed to be save spots. Not the yellowy pink ones though, but the... The red and blue one. I don't even know where I'm looking at right now, I'm so confused. Oh, this spot is okay too. is this? Oh, I hope the spider doesn't come in. Is that a tele- <laughs> Oh! You fucker! That fucking spider! I couldn't interact with the little scribble thing though, so not sure what's going on. Okay, let's just get out of here. Oh shit. Shit. Shit, there's a lot- a lot of shit going on. I don't know what these are. I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, it's just like a random loop. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what those scribbles are. They don't seem to have a standard walk pattern, so it's kind of scary. Holy shit. That spider is just doing its... Jesus, this is... This is so scary because, yeah, they don't have a set pattern. They just walk wherever they want to. You found a bottle of pills. It's not plugged in. Okay. Is this our time to go? Okay, I have no idea what to do now, so... Guess we have to explore some more. Oh! Okay. You cut him with the razor. Oh shit. Alright. I'm not sure what that did, but we... We cut him. Can we do anything else? N nope. We... we cu oh! There's another place! Oh, what the hell? You stuffed the pills down his throat. Considering what Rick stands for, I can see why Lisa would want to hurt him. Oh, okay. It's like a teleport. Oh my god, I keep getting stuck here. There you go. You got a sword. Okay. A sword. Where can we use the sword? Oh, I wonder if we can use it here. You insert the sword into the slot. Whoa. I see. Yeah, I guess that makes sense that the crotch area would have a sword. Because it's a weapon. And it's a weapon that hurts Lisa. Well, this is very different. Hmm. 
This is strange. It's so nice and fancy here. That can't be real. Maybe this is what Lisa wants for her life. Although, it lies behind that sword crotch statue though, so... I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh-oh. Where are we going? <laughs> hmm... A golden toilet that we still throw up into. I'm not exactly sure why Lisa is barfing at every single toilet she sees, but I guess it must be related to some trauma. Even if the toilet is luxurious and golden, she can't help but barf. Whoa. Is this the end? You got a necklace. Oh! A necklace! I thought that was like a noose. Something you cherish very much. Huh. No, we're not done yet. Rick is gone. We only had to kill him three times, but he's finally gone. We're back in reality. Same rundown house. Locked. Looks like Dad's not watching TV anymore, though. You don't hear anything. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I spoke way too soon. <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting your time. What's going on? Oh my god. You really don't get it, do you? You really thought you could forget? Why are you trying so hard? Accept it. You can't fight something that's already happened. There is no understanding, no purpose. There is only life, and this one is yours. Accept it. I'm here to stay. No matter where we run, we can't outrun our life.
Oh. That's so bad. Hmm. We can still come back here. Oh? Can we find anything new? It's a little bit different because it's white background now, but it still says the end in white text. Really, really white text. Can't tell if we're actually doing anything by walking. Hey, apparently there is a different ending if I go to the left side in the white area, so we're gonna give that a try. Oh! You got a VHS. Huh. Whoa. Lisa. Is that you? Lisa. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lisa! Whoa. I didn't want to leave. Lisa. I didn't want to die. Lisa, I love you. Don't go. You can't. You can't run. Well, that was completely disturbing. Uh, wow. Okay. I would have to guess that the woman at the end was Lisa and Brad's mother. It seems like she might have died and... To Lisa, at least, all of her memories of her mom were replaced by her monstrous dad. So I wonder if Lisa's mom dying was the trigger for Marty turning the way he is now. The other interesting thing is Rick. As you should know, there is a Rick in Lisa the Painful, one of Brad's best friends. I don't think they're the same person, but they do look kind of similar. What I remember of Rick in Lisa the Painful anyway. But I feel like if you're reusing a name in the same universe, in two games in the same universe, it's a very deliberate decision. So uh, who knows? In Painful, we did kill Sticky, but we didn't kill Rick, so maybe he'll show up again later in Joyful. Who knows? Suffice it to say, this game had a completely different feel to Lisa the Painful. Not just because the game was completely different, like you know how the, in the Painful, it's like an RPG party battle game. This one is mostly exploration, puzzle solving, no battling at all. A little bit of background into Lisa. The girl that started everything, I guess. A oh, really sad life. And there was nothing that she could do to forget what happened to her, so... She chose the only escape she could. Death. Oh... Man... We didn't get to see Brad at all, but if he was around for all of this happening, then... My god. Watching your sister go through all this shit without being able to help? Being completely powerless to do anything? That's gotta be pretty bad too. Hmm. On the off chance that anybody watching the video right now is at all feeling anything like Lisa, please don't harm yourself. Don't do anything permanent to solve temporary problems. Yeah. I thought I'd just throw that out there, just in case. You never know. So this was Lisa the first, and we're gonna be going back to the present day, quote quote present day, with Lisa the Joyful very very soon afterwards. Hopefully, that will make us a little bit more happy. Joy? No? Well, we'll find out soon. I'll see you later.